Hello friends, this video on atom and molecules part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay. So now we know there are something called atoms for a given element. For example, oxygen, hydrogen, copper, phosphorus, gold. There are so many atoms. And it was this is all in 1800s range, 1820s to 30s. More and more atoms were discovered. You won't say invented because these things exist in nature. The scientists discovered it. So there was a need to represent them, right? You always can't write oxygen. This is very difficult, right? So many reactions, you always can't write sulfur. It's a little combustion. So there has to be some way to represent it. So Dalton proposed this idea of representing atom like this, hydrogen with a circle and a dot, carbon with a circle with a uh, shade, oxygen with just a circle without any shade, phosphorus with this mercury shape, sulfur with this uh, cross shape, iron with I here, copper with C, lead with L, silver with S, gold since it glitters, so extra dots here for gold, platinum is P, mercury is M. These were the shapes suggested by Dalton. But gradually so many elements were discovered, more than 100 elements were discovered and it is really really cumbersome to remember so many symbols, right? So then there were a lot of talks going on to use the first and the second letter of the name of the element to give the symbol and this idea was proposed by Berzelius. So this Berzelius, he suggested that let's use the first and second letter. For example, if it is hydrogen, and since it is very common, let's use only the first letter and let's assume H as the representation of hydrogen. Carbon, since it is also common, the carbon is represented by C. Even if you see oxygen is also very common. So oxygen is also represented by O, the first letter of oxygen, the first letter of carbon, the first letter of hydrogen. Right? If you talk about uh, iodine, that is also represented by a first letter that is I. But there are some which are represented by the two first two letters, for example, silicon. It is represented by SI, the first two letters, because S is already given for sulfur. So if you talk about sulfur, it is written by sulfur. The next element point was silicon, you can't give S because S is already allocated to sulfur, so it is SI. Right? Uranium by U. Neon. See, nitrogen is represented by N. The next element found was neon, and neon was found after nitrogen. So N cannot be given, so Ne was used to represent neon. Right? Copper. So copper, it can be C, but C is already given to carbon, so C cannot be given. So it was Cu. Why Cu? Cupras, cupras or cuprum is Latin name for copper. So from this word cupras or cuprum, this word, let I mean this symbol Cu was derived. Similarly, gold also, if you see, gold was given Au based on the Latin name aurum. Okay. Aura means yellow, yellow metal. Very few metals are yellow. Most of the metal you will see is white. You talk about zinc, aluminium, iron, sodium, all these are metallic, uh, silver metal. Mercury, silver, gold, copper. Yeah, I remember two which are not white. Okay, zinc for example was given ZN. So 
these elements or these atoms of these elements are represented by one or more than one letters of the element right calcium is ca chlorine is cl so the next it need not be the immediate letter for example cl chlorine the next immediate letter after c was h but the representation is cl okay iron is called fe from the latin name ferrum okay so this is how these atoms of different elements are represented we don't use the symbols suggested by dalton because there are so many elements difficult to remember for example not only it difficult to remember that this hydrogen is this carbon is this but hydrogen is h carbon is c oxygen is o it is little easy to remember okay and if you notice one more thing as per iupac name the first letter is always capital and the second letter is small for example calcium is c a c capital a small calcium is never capital c capital a or small c small a calcium is capital c small a this is correct similarly iron is capital f small e iron is never f e or f e is all wrong right sodium is if you see n a it is never small n small a or capital n cap capital a it has to be capital n small a correct so each element has got a unique chemical symbol potassium symbol is k k is kalium kalium is again latin name typically it is greek or uh, german name okay so this is how we represent different types of elements thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attend free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching